Hey guys and welcome back to my channel The Retro Farmhouse. So I decided to show you what the inspiration was for today's project. I was giving this old ladder that I had a white wash because I was going to use it for a plant stand for a makeover for my carport. So I thought wouldn't it be really cute to recreate this um, for a smaller version that you could either use outside or inside your house. So what you're going to need is four of these games from the Dollar Tree, two packs of these paint stir sticks, they come in a pack of ten, you can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot, and a pack of the popsicle sticks, and as always another cookie sheet from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to take these and I'm just measuring them about nine inches, all of them, and this is where I'm going to make my cut and you end up using 18 sticks um, in total for this project. So I'm just demonstrating here that um, you can get one of these little miter saw boxes either at Walmart or online at Amazon. Um, I recommend the ones that come with the yellow box, they're bigger for bigger pieces of wood. But I'm just showing you here that you can use those to cut these down. I used my miter saw that I have outside, it's just quicker for me. And then I took each one of these and I sanded them down on the edges. Next I'm just going to take my E6000 and hot glue and I'm going to attach each one of these on the ends and then I also take some hot glue and I apply a popsicle stick there as well to create some more added support. I do this as well to connect two of the game pieces together. I just used again my E6000 hot glue to connect them at the ends and then I used three popsicle sticks um, on the underside with hot glue to connect them um, with a little bit more support. I did this for both of my um, game pieces so that in total you'll have two of these long pieces. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some popsicle sticks and I'm cutting those down into thirds and I'm going to use those to connect our next pieces. taking two of our long pieces and I want to connect those together. So again, same process, I'm going to use my E6000, you could also use wood glue for this and just some hot glue and I'm going to connect these lengthways and I'm going to use my little uh, third pieces that we cut down from the popsicle sticks and I'm just going to lay those as well over um, to connect those a little bit better. Total, you should end up having five of these sections. Now, as I'm showing you here, I took four of the sections and I've cut each of the angles at a 15 degree angle. Now, I had a miter saw to do this, so it was really no problem to create my angles. But if you're using um, the other miter saw box, I'm going to show you an easier way to do this. So basically, all you're going to do is you're just going to take it and go down a half an inch and put a mark. And you're going to take your other mark and put it up in the corner. And then you're basically just going to draw your slant line right there. And that's where you're going to make your cut. And that's where the 15 degree angle is. And you're going to do this um, one way and then the other way because your pieces are going to connect together and this is going to make them um, lay flat. So you can tell here I'm connecting them together um, and that creates me uh, an angle and then my bottom part's going to sit flat on the ground. So now basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to connect um, these two pieces together. This is going to be our legs and I'm using more E6000 and hot glue.
Now for one of our game pieces that's connected together, what I'm going to do is I want to cut this one a little bit smaller because if you ever look at a ladder step, um, one of them is an overhang on the top and then the one that comes down from that is usually inside both of the legs. So I'm going to make a mark at ten and a half and that's where I'm going to cut my piece. Now I'm taking my leg pieces and in order to get the top step to lay flat, you're going to want to cut this at a flat angle. So I'm just kind of eyeballing this, making my mark and I'm going to cut this straight line as well. Now I'm going to take my Waverly chalk paint in the color celery and I'm going to apply this all over my piece. I ended up using two coats over all of this. Next, I'm going to take dark granite from Apple Barrel and cover two of my popsicle sticks front and back. Now I'm going to take some jet black and I'm just going to dot this all over. Basically, if you've seen my other videos, we're creating another little galvanized look. These are going to be the pieces that are going to go on the sides of your ladder. I'm also using Timeless Gray and I'm just going to dot this all over to kind of blend that in. Next, I'm just going to use a small piece of my tray. Um, you'll see me cut out two pieces here. I thought that I was going to need these two pieces, but I only ended up using one. But you're just going to need a small amount. So if you've used this before in some of my projects, you don't need to go out and get another one if you still have a, a decent amount left. And I'm basically just using the same paint technique that I used before. I decided I wanted to place some words on my ladder. So I'm using this stencil I got off of Amazon. I'll link that below if you're interested. And I'm putting the word Farm Fresh Flowers. So the first step's gonna have Farm Fresh on it and the second one is gonna have flowers. If you ever do any type of stenciling, um, just know that the less amount that you use, the better, and that decreases your um, risk of having bleeding through. So just apply or dab some light coats, let it dry, come back and apply a few more. Now I'm just going to eyeball where I need to put the inner step. So I'm making my mark here and I'm going to take my E6000 and hot glue and I'm just going to apply that both to the insides of the side pieces. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for the top. I'm going to take my top piece and use E6000 and hot glue to secure this as well. And you will have a little bit of an overhang on each side. Now I'm going to do the same thing with our two popsicle sticks that we just covered. Um, these are going to go right on both of the sides and this kind of creates your hinge look. Now I'm just taking a small piece from our tin that we just covered and I'm basically trimming this down and I'm going to fold this around our edges and hot glue this on. 
And you're gonna wanna do this to both sides of your top step. Now I'm taking that fifth remaining piece that we had made from our sticks and I've cut that down to the length um, on the back side and I'm just applying that with some more hot glue in E6000. Now I'm just using my brown oxide from Apple Barrel and a makeup sponge and I'm just gonna distress the edges a little bit um, and the steps and the sides. Here's how this piece turned out. I'm gonna end up using this under our carport side entrance to our house, and you can really put anything on this. I just paired this with a little jar with some Walmart greenery, and you can also see the larger ladder in the background. I also paired that with some plants, but I just thought this added a really cute little accent. If you don't have one of these, um, you can make this one, have it outside on your porch, you could even put it inside somewhere um, as a, a decorative piece and put like a sign on it or maybe even hang off a little wreath off the front. Um, really it's very a versatile piece and it cost me probably less than six dollars with the, everything I currently had. I um, just want to thank you guys again for subscribing and watching our videos and hope to see you guys again next time.